This is one of several protests taking place here in Jordan. In the capital, protesters gathered outside the U.S. Embassy, where we have seen a really heavy security presence, Jordanian security forces not allowing protesters to get too close uh, to the embassy. Uh, people are infuriated by President Trump's announcement. Take a listen to what some of those protesters told us. He has given legitimacy to what is going to be the biggest terrorist movement that this region will ever witness. He has legitimized this movement uh, because of his narcissistic urges, and this is not acceptable. Trump is not responsible to decide Jerusalem is uh, for whom. And Palestine is an Arabic occupied land. We are not against Jews. We are against Israel, a terrorist Zionist occupation state and refugees must be back to their homeland. The Americans now, by Trump, are supporting the Israeli terror. When Jordanian officials were warning President Trump about making this announcement, it is scenes like this that they were concerned about. More than half the population of this country is either Palestinian or Palestinian descent. But it's not just Palestinians who are angry. It is also Jordanians uh, in this country. We have not seen uh, these kinds of anti-American sentiments in Jordan in a very long time. And more protests are expected on Friday, following Friday prayers. Shumana Karachi, CNN, Amman.